Alright guys, this is Zepster and today I'm going to be reviewing the Nakatua NH D14 CPU cooler that uh, I did an unboxing of probably about a month ago. In this review I'm going to cover temperatures uh, in a comparison between the Nakatua NH D14 and the Intel stock cooler. Then I'm going to go over things I liked and uh, areas that I could see improvement on uh, or would like to see improvement on. Um, and then I will show you or actually let you hear uh, how loud the CPU cooler is by itself. Let's start off with the numbers. Uh, I did two tests, obviously idle and then under load. And then for each one of those tests, I turned my case fans up to high and then I turned my case fans down to low and then ran the test again for each. Um, so the ambient temperature in the room was 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's around 22 degrees Celsius. Um, the CPU was clocked at uh, 4 gigahertz, and I should mention that it's a Intel Core i5 2500K uh, in my machine. Uh, and again, it was clocked at 4 gigahertz, so a decent overclock, but nothing too spectacular. Uh, there was no throttling. I made sure that when I was running the tests, it was not throttling the CPU back um, and uh, stuff like that. So. I tried to make this as scientific as possible. All right, so the Intel CPU cooler uh, was just the stock one. Uh, we've all had them, we've all seen them, we all know they're terrible, uh, but that's all I had to compare to. Uh, at, the, at, at the time of recording this, that it's, and even now, it's all I have to compare to. I don't have like a collection of five different CPU coolers. All right, uh, Intel uh, CPU cooler with the case fans on low. Uh, it was just idling, I, I just didn't have any applications open except for the temperature one. The average temperature inside of the computer, or I'm sorry, not inside of the computer, but the average temperature that the CPU was at was 31 degrees Celsius. Not that hot. Uh, Noctua NHD 14, 3 degrees cooler at 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, and for case fans at high, uh, it was the same. So, no change. Uh, again, 31 and 28 to clarify. Uh, under load, however, the Intel stock cooler had an average temperature of about, 80, of about 82 degrees Celsius, and it reached a maximum temperature of 87 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's pretty hot, and the Noctua completely and obviously blew it out of the water with an average temperature of 54 degrees Celsius, reaching a max temperature of only 55 degrees Celsius. So right there, that's a 30 degree drop, 30 degree drop in temperature uh, just by upgrading to a decent CPU cooler. For case fans on high, it was 70, uh, 78 degrees Celsius for the Intel, and the max temperature was 86, which is still hot. Uh, and then for the Noctua with case fans on high under load, um, it was 53 degrees Celsius, and the max, te max temperature again was 55. Uh, I should mention, I should have mentioned this beforehand, um, the test that I ran was Prime 95 on the uh, the maximum heat high FFT setting. It's just a preset. I'll put a screenshot in there so that you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it's a free application. You can download it. I recommend you do because uh, if you build a computer or you're overclocking, you can make sure it's stable, run it for like 900 hours and make sure it's not going to crash, stuff like that. So those are the numbers. Uh, obviously, you can tell the Noctua Anish D14 performed uh, extremely well, obviously in comparison to the uh, Intel stock CPU cooler, uh, it, it blew it out of the water. The things I liked about it, uh, installation process was pretty easy, um, it doesn't look very bad, uh, it doesn't look very bad, it doesn't look bad at all, I, I actually like the way it looks, um, I like the, the two-tier design with the fans, and I actually like the color coordination of the fans, or the color of the fans, I don't know how, the, the color scheme of the fans. And if you don't like them and you really want to, you can switch them out, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's just two little, almost like spring clips and you just pop those off and you can put them on another fan. Um, I also liked that it's uh, decently quiet. Um, there are times, uh, like now, when I don't have headphones on and I can, I can hear it, but also, as you can see, I have a very open case with lots of well, the whole thing is just, there's holes. Uh, so I can imagine if I had like a Corsair 650D or any, pretty much any other case that's not open, you wouldn't hear it uh, pretty much at all. 
Uh, again, however, well, not again, but however, that leads into my room for improvement area, which is uh, I would like to see PDO, PWM fans included with this. So pretty much that was the only thing I didn't like uh, or didn't. That was pretty much the only thing I uh, saw improvement or saw what could be improved upon in the design or future versions of this. Um, other than that, it was uh, pretty, like I said, pretty easy installation process. It looks pretty good, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So overall, it was a pretty uh, straightforward installation process. The instruction booklet is great. Um, I would recommend this to friends, and I have recommended this to friends. Uh, you can find it for around 85 bucks on Newegg, uh, give or take five or ten bucks, depending on coupons and discounts that week and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably link to Amazon because that's uh, international shipping and stuff like that. So overall, I liked it. Uh, however, like I said, uh, PWM fans would be nice. Uh, but like I said before that, I said the other thing that I said, you could install uh, PWM, PWM fans yourself because it's pretty straightforward and Noctua of course does sell PWM fans they just didn't include them in this don't know why all right guys that was my review of the Noctua NHD 14 uh, don't forget to like this video if you like this video uh, add it to favorites if you so desire and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the comment section below uh, leave me a comment saying what CPU cooler you have and if you like it uh, why do you like it and if you don't like it then tell me why you don't like it um, Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you later.